Hey guys, my name is Evan Moore. I'm an instructor here at Wade Gordon Barber Academy, and today we're going to be going over your safe bag uh, prep. So this is going to be your bag that you're going to use when you go to state board. Make sure that you guys are labeling pre-sanitized on your bag. I would just do more than once, so that way they can at least see where it's labeled, okay? I just use a label with tape on the handle and on the front. So whatever you guys have to use, a duffel bag or uh, a netting bag, you can use either one of those. So let's go ahead and open it up. So the way I have everything in here, I have it in here in order. So when you guys are making your bags, make sure you put them all in order. So that way when you get there, you don't have to like fumble through your bags and try to figure out which one's first and which one's last or which one's next. Uh, with this particular bag, I was able to fit in my mannequin stand <clears throat> and a mannequin head. If you're not able to, you have to, this one has these little clips. You can always keep it on the side or just hold it when you, when you walk in. So we'll set this over here. So the very first bag that I have in here <clears throat> is going to be your pre-sanitized and pre-exam setup and disinfection. So when you guys are labeling your bags, make sure that every bag says pre-sanitized on the front. They want to see that. <clears throat> so we'll go over this bag real quick and what's in it. <clears throat> so you're going to have a water bottle. Make sure that it's labeled. Water or H2O, okay? Um, you can choose to have it pre-filled before you get there. Just make sure that if this spills out and gets any of your paper towels or anything wet, that's gonna render everything in here unsanitized, okay? So you can wait or make sure that you have really good bottles in there so that way it doesn't leak. So your bottle labeled H2O. Hand sanitizer. You'll have to have a blood spill kit and make sure it's labeled blood spill kit. Tape, a trash bag. Also, your paper towels need to be in a separate bag as well, labeled pre sanitized implements. And the last, your EPA, make sure that's labeled hospital grade disinfectant, okay? So that's gonna be your first bag. <clears throat> Again, that's gonna be pre sanitized exam, setup, and disinfection, okay? So make sure everything in there is labeled properly. Go ahead and put this back together. All this stuff in this bag is going to be left out during the entire course of your state board. Make sure this water bottle is closed so that we don't get anything leaking in there. Okay, so we'll set this bag aside. This is your first bag. Next. <clears throat> Next is going to be your manicure, okay? So <clears throat> I know we kind of have this label with tape, but you guys are going to have to print it out labels and tape down there, and it's going to say pre-sanitized manicure service, okay? So we're going to go over what's all inside this bag as well. So you're going to have three towels in here. You do not have to put those in a separate bag. Just make sure that everything that's in there that's liquid does not spill and get your towels all dirty. Another trash bag. And then this bag here is going to be your pre-sanitized implement. So this has your soap and water, your three orange wood sticks, your cotton. I went ahead and put two of those nail filers in there just in case you get real nervous and you drop one. Uh, you also have your top coat and then you have your cuticle remover. All in here, okay? So it is up to you guys if you guys want to have those orange wood sticks prepped and wrapped in cotton already. <coughs> If you're worried about time, then I would go ahead and do that. And then your little finger bowl. So again, this is going to be your pre-sanitized implements, the manicure service, okay? And we'll have, we'll make sure to have uh, printed labels for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and put all this back in there. <clears throat> as far as paper towels go, I know there's some inside the first bag that we did, but I Personally, put some in every single bag that I did, so that way I always had some just in case, because you never know. I used the whole entire roll for my state work. So this is your manicure service bag, okay, that's second. So first is going to be pre-exam set up and disinfection, right after that is going to be manicure. So next is going to be 
professional shave service. So remember, like I said, everything needs to be labeled pre-sanitized before the actual name of the service. So this is a pretty big one. There's a lot of stuff in here. I think all together you need eight towels. So we have one here, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> then you have your two steam towels. So when you guys make this bag too, make sure that it says pre-sanitized and then steam towels. So this doesn't have to be a label printed out. You can write it on there or you can put a piece of tape or something. Just make sure that it is labeled. If you have a big enough bag, you can put both of them in there. Some people will have two individual small bags. It's kind of up to you. Next is gonna be another pre-sanitized implement bag. <clears throat> Inside there, I'm gonna have the little head cap. The shower cap is going to be used for the headrest on the barber chair. Make sure you guys don't forget that. We're also going to have your sharps container. What I did is I bought an extra first aid kit and I just emptied the contents out into that first bag and I just used this first aid kit as my sharps container. And then you'll have your razor or your straight razor and then a blade. You can bring two, because like I said, just in case you get real nervous or you just drop something, you have extra. So that'll be in another bag, and that can be written on just like this. You don't have to have a label for it. A cape <clears throat> or a drape. And then whether you choose to use shaving cream or shaving gel, it doesn't matter. So just whichever one you choose. And so that's going to be your pre-sanitized professional shave service, okay? <clears throat> I know that bag's pretty big with a lot of stuff in it. Just make sure you have all your towels. If you're not sure or you think you may need another one, always bring extra. Because if you drop one of these, once it hits that ground, it's going to be unsanitary. And if you don't have any extra, then you're pretty much out of a towel. So bring extra of anything if you need it, if you think you might need it. So right after the manicure is going to be professional shave, okay? Next, after that. Now it's going to be your facial, okay? Go ahead and open this up. So inside there, you're going to need another steam towel. This is a little bag. I just put a label that says steam towel. Make sure you do that. And then again, pre-sanitized implements. It's gonna have your cotton rounds, it's gonna have your facial cream, and then your astringent, okay? So when you do this, these cotton rounds and these bottles do need to be in a separate bag and they do need to be labeled pre-sanitized implements. So you'll have your cotton rounds in there. I brought four, because you're gonna need two, but you can bring four. And then your facial cream, if you decide to bring the actual bottle of it, you can, but you still need to label it facial cream. And then same thing for your astringent. A lot of people bought the bottle of witch hazel. If you do bring it, you do need to still label it astringent. So that's all that goes in there. And then you're gonna need two additional towels. Just in case if you're doing that shave and you need another drape, you got two extra towels. <clears throat> so we'll put that away. Okay, so that's your facial service. Make sure when you do label it, it does say disinfected or pre-sanitized implements, and then facial service, okay? Now real quick, before we go on to the next bag, <clears throat> one thing that I forgot is that a lot of people had questions about the blood spill kit <clears throat> that goes along with the shave. So in your shave bag, you are not gonna have a blood spill kit, okay? Uh, in your first bag that we did, the pre-sanitized uh, and disinfected implements, that has, a, that has a blood spill bag in it. Okay, so you'll use that one just in case if you actually do cut somebody. So the blood spill is a separate section in this whole entire state board, okay? It comes right after your shave, comes the blood spill, and right before your facial. Okay, so it's in between the shave and the facial is your blood spill kit. So all that goes in there, 
And that it's going to be a bag. It's going to have a printed label because it's actually going to be another section on your state board. All that's going to be in there is your gloves. I brought two pairs, so just in case if you rip one, you have another one. Two other Ziploc bags. It doesn't matter what size. Just make sure you have two other ones. And label them Blood Spill Kit. And then you're just going to have... You're stuck? Okay. So also inside there, you're going to have two empty Ziploc bags. It doesn't matter what size. Just make sure that they are labeled Blood Spill Kit. You can't just write it on there, okay? Next, I just have this, another first aid kit labeled pre-sanitized implements. Inside there, you just have your band-aids, alcohol swabs. Uh, make sure to put some Q-tips in there because you are going to have to use your uh, septic powder. If you don't have one of those, get with us and we can get you one. But that's all that's going to be in your blood exposure kit, okay? Remember, that is a separate section. It comes right after the shave and right before the facial is going to be your blood exposure, okay? So that's all that's going to be in there. <clears throat> so again, <clears throat> just like this. Here's your shave. Right after you finish your shave, you're going to do blood exposure. After you finish blood exposure, you're going to go right into your facial. Okay? I always forget about that one. Right after your facial, <clears throat> It's going to be your hair shaping. So this says shampoo because back when I did my state board, it was a shampoo, so we'll have to change the label. But it is going to say pre-sanitized and disinfected implements for the hair shaping service. Okay. So just forget about that shampoo. So all that's going to be in here is going to be another bag labeled pre-sanitized implements. You'll have a towel. So for this towel, I mean you don't have to use it for a drape, but I used it and laid it out and put my shears, my clippers, my trimmers on top of it. So in this, you do need to have your clippers, your thinning shears, and then your regular shears. You need to have three clips of your choice. It doesn't really matter which ones you pick. Three clips. Some combs. Now for these, I have some of these, but I would use your barber comb, or the one you use for clip over comb. Uh, you can have these two, but I would still use that one. And then you're going to need neck strips. Two neck strips. I brought two just in case you rip one or you drop one. Bring two of them. And that's all that's going to be in there. So that's why I had this towel. So pretty much when you're done, all you have to do is just wrap this towel up so you don't just throw your clippers and all that stuff into the trash. It's totally up to you. How you, you can put your clippers and shears in a separate bag if you want to but it's totally fine to do it like this. <clears throat> so like I said, this does say shampoo, but it is gonna be your hair shaping, okay? So that's gonna be right after your facial. Okay, right after your haircut. You're gonna move on to your mannequin now. So that's all we had. <clears throat> mannequin head, mannequin stand. And you're gonna go into your pre-sanitized blow dry and thermal styler. So what's gonna be in there is gonna be your curling iron. Your blow dryer. And then another bag labeled pre-sanitized implements. Inside that bag you're gonna have your vent brush which looks just like this. If you guys didn't know what a vent brush is, this is what it is. And you're gonna have neck strips and you're also gonna have end papers, okay? Because you need to test that heat of the curling iron. So make sure you have end papers in there. Three clips, any clips of your choice. Just my end papers. And then a comb. It needs to be a heat resistant comb, okay? Throw so this back in there. Clips and papers, your vent brush, a heat resistant comb. Make sure you have neck strips. I'm not going to try to fit that curling iron inside a separate bag, so it's okay if you just put both of those inside here. 
<clears throat> Just like this. If you don't have a blow dryer or you don't have a curling iron, you can get with one of us. When it comes time for you to do your state board, and we can get you one, and you can ask somebody if they're nice enough to let you borrow. So after your haircut, you'll be moving on to your mannequin, and you'll be doing your blow dry and thermal service, okay? So just like that. And then after that. So after that's going to be your, remember, pre-sanitize on every label that you do, and it's going to be chemical preparation. So this has nothing to do with your chemical services. It's going to be prepping your mannequin head to be ready for a chemical service. So all you're going to have in there is another cape, some towels, one, two. I just went ahead and put some more paper towels in there. Make sure that if you do, it is labeled pre-sanitized implements. Gloves. You can bring two pairs. Again, I just put one in there, but you can bring two. Your Vaseline. <clears throat> so another thing too that they changed was that even though it says Vaseline on there, you need to put a label that says barrier cream. Okay, make sure you do that. Q-tips. Also label those too. Pretty much everything has to be labeled, so Q-tips. And that's all that's going to be in there. <clears throat> So when you get to that section and they say time for your chemical preparation, all you're going to do is set up your mannequin, put on the barrier cream, drape them, and that's it. You're not going to perform any of the services. So this is going to be your pre-sanitized chemical preparation. <clears throat> So next is going to be your pre-sanitized permanent wave service. So this is going to be your perm. So your mannequin head already be set up and ready to go, sectioned off and everything. So this bag, again, labeled pre-sanitized implements. This is going to have the little cotton that you use to wrap around your section that you're going to perm. Has a little bottle labeled mock wave solution so all that's going to be is just water you can use one of these bottles you can use an actual applicator bottle two rat tail combs okay two i wouldn't use the metal ones just use the plastic ones so you'll have some clips with your hair already be sectioned off but you'll have some clips you'll have your perm rods and then some end papers. You only have to do four perm, ro perm rods, but I would bring extra just in case, because you never know. So pretty much everything's gonna be inside this bag. Make sure you label it pre-sanitized implement, and that's it for your perm, okay? Last but not least, it's going to be a pre-sanitized chemical application. So this is going to be your virgin retouch. So all you're going to have in here, a little container, it's just going to be labeled mop hair color retouch. It's just going to be some gel. Also, I'm going to have another bag labeled my pre-sanitized implements. All that's going to be in there, you'll have two combs. And then three clips. One, two, three. So that'll be in that bag. This one has another bag labeled pre sanitized implements, and that's just gonna be your color brush. There's two in there because you never know if you drop one, you're gonna have to have to re sanitize it. So that'll help save you some time if you just have extra. <clears throat> the gel container doesn't matter what size it is. Just make sure that it doesn't leak on you. If you know it might spill, then like this one has tape over it just in case. That's totally fine. Okay, so that's pretty much it for all your bags. So I'm gonna go back over them in order, just so that way you guys can see. So the first one, pre-sanitized, pre-exam setup and disinfection. I'll put that in first. 
next bag is going to be the pre-sanitized manicure. And then it's going to be the pre-sanitized professional shave service. And then remember, the blood exposure is a separate bag, okay? Right after that is going to be your facial. And then it says shampoo, but this is going to be your hair shaping service and your haircut. Right after your haircut is going to be your pre-sanitized blow dry and thermal service. Right after that is going to be your chemical preparation. And then it's going to be your perm. The very last bag is going to be your pre-sanitized chemical application. That's going to be it, guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.